Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here today to share my October 2019 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. And it's based on the Studio Calico Summer of 69 kit from actually 2012. So it's an older kit on their blog. I guess you can go to the archives. I followed the link from the Counterfeit Kit Challenge blog. And so I went into my stash and I found a paper collection that I have that is similar to the feel of that kit with the pinks, the blacks, the yellows. That kit had some green thrown in. I didn't necessarily throw any additional green in. I kept it with this color tone, the pinks, the corals, the blacks, um, and then the off-white colors, and it's got gold underlying. So I have this paper pad that I split with my sister, so I have 24 sheets to start with. And so I'll just go through and show you. And you can see these are an off-white background. I love that piece of paper. Only because I wear glasses. Yeah. Um, great patterns. Lots of embellishments here. This is that uh, string art, I think they called it. Oh, gosh. It was something that I did with my sister when I was a little girl in the 70s. Um, I love this piece of paper. That is like the perfect piece of paper in my eyes. Um, love those colors there. The little typewriters. I pulled out some wood veneers, but I think I have some wood veneer typewriters as well. I might pull those out as too. I'm not overly um, fond of this geometric pattern, but I'll, if I can't make it work on the front side, I can always use the back side for something. Uh, love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. Oh, so pretty. So pretty, so pretty. So these are beautiful pieces of paper. I think some of them have not only a black tone, and I'm not crazy about this one, but I can use it, you know, to border something. I think it has some gray tones pulled in too um, in some of the paper. So I think I'm going to try, um, or I have pulled in some additional gray elements um, as well. I pulled in three different sheets of tissue paper, a more corally, a more rose color pink, and then a black. And you can see when I hold them next to that, it has all the same colors. I went through and pulled in uh, four sheets of each, craft, off-white, and uh, black cardstock to pull into this kit. If I figure out I want to pull something else into this kit, I'm going to. I won't limit myself to just these color selections as far as the card stocks go. Um, I will pull in additional papers if I feel like I need to. Um, I also went into my stash and found a couple of My Mind's Eye um, 6x6. This one is Lost and Found 2, Rosie, and this is Miss Caroline. These are both older collections, but it had a lot of the same color feels um, with the blacks, the off-whites, um, the golds. Some of the greens and stuff I probably won't use. The ones that are more have more of a red feel, I probably won't use. Um, I, I pulled this one in primarily because of the golds. Um, not It's got a lot of blue in here, but I'm not going to pull that additional in. I pulled it for the pinks and the blues in here. So I have all of this as far as paper goes. Um, the Inspiration Kit had a couple, I think a large and a small alpha, and you know me, um, one alpha is not sufficient. So I pulled in uh, this black alpha from Sticko, and it's two-sided, so there's two alpha sets in there. I pulled in these two from Felicity Jane, their gold foil chipboard, um, and so it's the same. Uh, I just have two packs. And this Willow Puffy um, in this peachy pink color as well, and there's two packs of those. I also pulled in, uh, I think it had one set of small letter tiles. Well, I pulled in a couple. Uh, I have this set with gold, and it has a, a white tile, or a white letter on the gold tile. Um, and these are glitz. And then I pulled in these Adorn It from Carolee's, and it's off-white with black letters. And you can see I've used both of these, um, but the other, the larger sets I haven't used at all. 
I went through um, embellishment packs. I went through my freckled fawn. I went through just random stash. Now the inspiration kit did have some doilies and these are multiple doilies here. They're just all stuck together. I have to peel them apart to get them to work. They are pretty white. Um, I don't know how it will blend in with the background, but sometimes it really doesn't matter to me. These are a little set of die cut embellishments. I'm not sure where they're from, but they have a lot of purple, but I really pulled them in for this gold color, and then there's some yellow, and then there's some pink as well. So I might try to pull some of those in. It's not going to break my heart if I don't get, uh, but a couple of them used. It's all good, right? I found these in my stash. These are from paper, or sorry, from Recollections. I bought these in the $1.50 spot at Michael's. Um, they have that lovely gold tone as well as the black. The white is um, a very stark white, but again, um, I'm not going to be overly concerned about it. I found this in my uh, Freckled Fawn uh, stash, and I pulled it in. I've only got one and it's uh, gray on one side and yellow on the other. And so I thought I could pull that in. I found this uh, embellishment pack from Heidi Swap, and it's called Every Day. And I love that it has that um, almost craft look as well as gold foil and black. And then other uh, freckled fawn embellishments, I pulled in this kit from a couple of months ago or several months ago. It's still got a wood veneer. It's still got the enamel dots. There's heart stars and dots in peachy color and black. It's got washi strips. It's got labels and it's got a small black tile with a white alpha. I found these transparent stickers. These are from quite a while ago, from August of 2017. I've used about half the pack. I still have about half the pack to go, and they're just sentiments on there. Found this set of Felicity Jane Willow washi strips, and I felt like um, these flowers here, the black, the peach, and maybe even that copper tone there would go um, with the kit. This set of washi stickers from Freckled Fawn, I think it has all the right colors. This set from Felicity Jane, I have a full piece of the black with the uh, pink roses, and then I have a partial strip with uh, the black check, and then, um, or the, what do you call it, plaid, and then another partial of that floral. I found some uh, chipboard pieces and they have that gold coloring on them as well as that uh, corally um, coral color and then these squares have the pink the gold and the coral color I don't know that I'll get use of these that say March on them or these sunburst but we'll see and um, you never know what I might get used up these um, acrylic hearts are freckled fawn this cork um, doily from freckled fawn these black enamel dots and those are big <laughs> but i'm not opposed to using them i found some pink ones too that i think will work these are a set uh these triangles and i don't know if you can tell this but these white ones on here almost have a oh i don't know i, I just don't know um i love how they look um but they're not solid colored they have a variegated color. And then the inspiration kit, because it did have, I think, some uh, arrow clips, I went ahead and pulled these in. I've had these in multiple kits over the years, and I just have never used them. Uh, these are from 2016. So, yeah. Um, I also pulled in wood veneer. I pulled in these um, butterflies, and they are recollections. I pulled in these sets of uh, maybe American Crafts. There's hearts and arrows in here, and there's people in here, men and women icons in here. I don't know that I will pull all of these in. I will probably put part of those into the kit and then put the others back in my drawer, and whatever is left over, if there's anything, will go back in. I'll, there's one, two, three, four, five, six in here, so I'll probably put all of those in the kit. I pulled in some washi tape. Now, I pulled in pinks. Uh, multiple shades of pink because this one had pink to orange feel and it almost feels like that gold tone in there I went ahead and it says hello sunshine this one is that dark 
pink color. This one is uh, pink, light and dark pink with gold mixed in. And this is a pink and red with a craft color in it as well. Pull in a couple of gray shades, this stripe as well as this polka dot. And then I had gotten this uh, at back to school time from Walmart and it's got daisy flowers, it's got white with gold dots, it's got a black and white stripe. This is a black with gold um, floral and then white with uh, black butterflies. Then I went to my color bins and I pulled in some different embellishments. I went to my gray and black and I pulled in uh, from my gray uh, buttons. I haven't used buttons in a while, but I want to try to get some used. Um, I pulled in a couple of, these are stickles and these are liquid pearls. Um, these are silver, silver pearl and these are called, I don't know what these are called, black diamond. So I pulled those in to use. I pulled in some stuff that I haven't seen or used in quite some time. I have these old uh, slide frames. I have photo corners. I have uh, this leather slide frame. This um, just cut out, punched out so slide frame or photo frame. Um, this little punch out piece, this flower shape that was cut with my silhouette. An old journal spot, and I want to say that is from... Oh my gosh. Creative memories? Yeah. Uh, little alpha dots punch out there. Some pieces that I have cut with my silhouette. Um, I found leftover bits and pieces um, that I have punched or cut out. Some tags. Uh, another alpha dots. A uh, heart that I've punched out. Things that I have stamped um, and haven't used up. This is actually a tag. Um... And I want to say it was maybe from a purse or something. It said heart, soul on it. But I love that gold tone, so I'm going to try and use that. Um, yeah, these are from a Making Memories um, little journal booklet. I pulled those out. These are leftover gray pearls. Uh, more alpha dots in black and in gray. I pulled out these border strips. Those are old Queen and Company. This set from Recollections. They are adhesive backed and they are um, have some glittering and some foiling to them in black and silver. Uh, this set of Jenny Bolin butterflies and it had an alpha on the bottom of it but I wanted to keep the, the butterflies separate. And then this piece of um, sticker bits, I don't know the name of the company but I have punched out uh, a heart here and pulled off several of those labels. I also went into my pink bin. I pulled in a ton of pink buttons in all different shades. Um, I pulled in, um, oh gosh, let me grab some of this stuff up. Um, all these different embellishments. I have pink leftover pearls. I have these hearts that have red, craft, pink, and cream. And those are from Paper Studio, I think. I'm pretty sure it doesn't say where they're from. No, 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 no. Those are from the uh, Target dollar spot. Uh, these are old Kane Company tags. I have a chipboard piece. I have these old making memory bits. Those are from 2008. This I had made for a card, never used it. It's been in my pink bin. I'll try and use that. I have photo corners. I have hearts. I have tags that I have punched out. I have a doily circle that I have punched out. Making memories tag booklet. Lots of hearts uh, and punch out pieces that I have. Um, and die cut pieces. Lots of just randomness. That's something that I stamped and cut out. Uh, those are fussy cut hearts. That's punched out. This I printed. Um, a lot of these are things that I have printed and fussy cut. Um, yeah, those are tags and another of those die cut pieces. I found these in my pink bin in a little booklet that I have. Um, this is XOXO in gold and then it says choose your happy life in black. Um, I pulled out some of these old Heidi Swap from 2007. Um, what do you call those? Damask um, symbols. And so um, I'm going to try Those are stickers. I'm going to try to get those used up. Border strip and that is a scallop border strip. Uh, I have these old can company or can company queen and company felt border strips gonna try and get those used up and then sitting around on my desk 
I pulled in these gold, pulled in these gold brads, and then pulled in these gold dots and stars and hearts uh, that have been cut out of gold foiled paper. There's some other random stuff in there too, but yeah, that's what I pulled in. Also, um, I pulled in this tool. It's from Stampin' Up! and it is a uh, border die. And then I pulled in this stamp from Ellie's Studio and it's called The Good Life. Um, and it's got Love This Place and Location, Happy Moments Documented, Notes from This Adventure, The Good Life, Lines, and uh, One, Two, Three, and a Heart Arrow. So that's it. That's my kit. I do reserve the right to pull in additional elements if I feel like I need them, but I think this is a fairly large kit with a lot of embellishments that I'll be able to get great use out of. If I can get 10 layouts from this kit, I will be so happy. If I don't get that many, that's okay too. If I get more than that, that's okay too. I'm not going to be overly fussed. My goal is to uh, get what I want used out of it and then put back in my stash. Um, like, you know, these felt border strips. I would love to get all of those used up this time around. I've had them in multiple kits over the years and I'm good um, with getting them used up. I don't think I need to save them any longer. Um, which is, I feel like I've, I've put them off and put them off and put them off because I really like them and didn't want to use them. So I'm hoping this time to get a lot of this stuff used up. When I'll get it used up, I don't know. I don't know if it'll necessarily be in the month of October because I have so much, uh, other stuff going on this month. Anywho, thanks for for uh, checking out my kit. I hope it inspires you to get into your stash and create something, um, whether it be a single page kit, a card kit, or um, a scrapbooking kit that you can use for multiple layouts. I just hope this inspires you to get into your stash um, and use your product. I love to see other people's videos and I watch a ton of them throughout the day of you know people who create stash kits I just love it so if you create a stash kit of your own leave me a, a message and so I can go over and have a look see um, I would love to see what other people are creating as well anyway you guys have a great day and I'll see you on the next video bye bye